Welcome everyone, we arrive at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas for the second preseason test. Caesar's Palace is a compact, shorter circuit compared to the fast and flowing Osterreich ring from the first test. The young Austrian, Garrett Berger, was one of the first ones out on track. Alongside was the experienced Rene Arnoux, who stalled his car after a spin and having to return to the pits. It looks like Benetton is looking solid throughout both tests and they seem to be on the cusp of points paying positions. Lijay's Kazuyoshi Hoshino was looking strong on the streets of Vegas as he put in a time half a second or so from the top running teams. The young John Lacey was still getting settled in the car and surely the test will have proven useful for the coming season. Lijay have youth as a strong point and Hoshino as a point scorer. It seems the French outfit has a promising future ahead. Lotus looked fast yet again, with Senna placing himself inside the top three, with Nakajima not being behind too far considering the talent of Senna. Lotus elected to run the same lineup for both tests. It seems like they are preparing for a championship hunt this season. Eros are looking like a well-balanced team. They put out the Swede Johansson alongside the Brazilian Moreno electing not to run Martin Brundle during any of their tests, which is quite curious. Apparently, manager Erkman is confident in what will surely be his primary drivers. Arrows are looking like a well-balanced team, Moreno and Johansson are closely matched and both on the cusp of point-paying positions. Williams brought Jeff Lees out again, this time looking more competitive than the previous outing in Austria. His teammate, Eddie Irvine, not yet finding his bearings, as he put in the slowest time this test session by quite some margin. Williams seems to look shaky after a championship winning year in 87. The change from Honda to Judd seems to be partially to blame. Tyrrell had Michael Andretti have a go in the car, and even though a lot had doubts, it seems Andretti was able to adjust quickly, putting himself well inside the top 10. Hilde Ferrand, on the other hand, seemed to be struggling getting used to the F1 machine. Maybe he needs a bit more time to get adjusted. Tyrrell is looking like a confident top 6 challenger. It was Capelli's first outing for McLaren alongside David Brabham. Both didn't have the best test session compared to the solid outing in Austria McLaren previously had. Both drivers outside the top 10 this time around. Let's hope McLaren was running somewhat conservative programs, but could be fairly tough getting their second driver inside the points. Minardi was near the top of the leaderboard again with Ross Cheever putting in solid work with Matsumoto alongside. It seemed they were doing a lot of shorter runs during testing. Other teams stating they heard strange noises coming out of the Minardi engine bays. It seems the engineers were constantly reconnecting wires and hoses after every couple laps. Minardi's car seems incredibly fast, but reliability might come back to bite them. Zach Speed brought their second Belgian driver up. Thierry Bootsen putting in a respectable time close to the top 10. Schneider also seeming to have a slightly better time than last test. Zach Speed seems to be confident for a midfield strap. March brought out Nigel Mansell together with the young Johnny Herbert. Slightly worse results for March this time around, with their sleek design not looking the most competitive. Let's hope they can improve before the season starts. And finally, in the heat of Vegas, it was Ferrari taking the top of the timesheets with Emerson Fittipaldi and Alex Caffey. Although the young Caffey seemed to struggle throughout the test, the experienced Fittipaldi seems on top of his game and really seems to be revitalizing his career with Ferrari. It seems Ferrari is here to challenge for the top step once more. Let's now take a look at how the second preseason test in Vegas played out. 